secret agent, K-7, returns. number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you another story of today. Here is K-7. Ladies and gentlemen, in days when nations are rearming for defense, new weapons of warfare are carefully guarded secrets. All tests are conducted with the utmost secrecy, yet, in spite of extreme vigilance, Military secrets often leak out. It is such a story which I am going to ask John Holbrook to introduce now. Thank you, K-7. Recently, a new aerial bomb was developed which gave promise of being one of the world's most effective weapons. While tests of this bomb were being conducted, the intelligence service of the country involved guarded the secret with vigilance. Yet despite their watchfulness, they were certain that results of the tests were leaking out. As a result, Secret Agent M was called into the case. Three days after M and his assistant Yvonne arrived, their suspicions were directed toward one man. We join M and Yvonne in the lobby of a large hotel. Yes, it's with the baggage machine. Yvonne, Yvonne. if we sit over here, we can see him as he comes through the door. Now, here's a seat. You're sure this man is a spy, M? Yes, I've had him followed. More, I've checked into his past. We could arrest him, but instead, we are hoping he will lead us to the man who's giving him information and to the head of the ring. I see. And what's this magazine stuff? I'll explain later. When this man left the hotel this morning, he bought a copy of the magazine you have in your lap. If he comes back with it, I want to see it. Now, you know what you're to do. Yes, but I must confess it sounds silly. When he comes in, I'm to get up and accidentally run into him, dropping my magazine and knocking his out of his hand. If you can do that, it will be perfect. I will pick up both magazines and exchange them, giving him the one that you have. And I'll hand you the one he carries, then we'll get out quick. It ought not to be difficult. The only thing I can't understand is what harm there can possibly be in a magazine. Ivan, here he is. And he has the magazine. The man wearing the tan suit. Hurry. I see him. Uh, which way to the telephone? Oh! <clears throat> Good heavens. Oh! Oh, I... I'm so sorry. I walked right into oh, it. Oh, pardon, I... mademoiselle. You dropped your magazine. Thank you. It was stupid of me. And this magazine is yours, monsieur? Yes. Give it to me. Good day, mademoiselle. I'm sorry, monsieur. He's gone. Quick, Yvonne. Outside and get into the car. Later, we find M and Yvonne in M's laboratory. M is holding the magazine before an ultraviolet or black light. As he turns the pages, he explains. You see, Yvonne, I have reason to suspect that military secrets are written across the printed pages of this magazine in invisible ink. If so, that invisible ink will stand out under the ultraviolet light. And we'll be able to read what is written. Yes. The ultraviolet light will bring it out as clearly as if it were written on blank paper. Yet, wait. Have you found something? Look at this page. Oh, figures. Well, what do they mean? It's a formula, Ivan. Yes. Yes, it's all there. Turn on the lights. We're on the right trail, Ivan. First, I'll give you your instructions. Then I'm going to see the Commandant. <laughs> Later, 
Sergeant M. sat across the desk from the commandant of a large military post. Together, they examined the magazine while M. Ex explained. It's all there, Commander. The complete formula for the liquid oxygen bomb. I don't know what to say, Agent M. This, this magazine condemns one of my officers. A man whom I trusted completely. I'll have him placed under arrest at once. It means court martial. I don't want him arrested, Commander. Not arrest him. But I know he is the only man who had this formula. He's been studying it for weeks. If you arrest him, Commander, the men behind this plot will grow suspicious. They'll get away before I can find out who they are. But if he remains free, we are running a risk. No, not a big one. Have him followed. We'll also follow the man at the hotel. In 72 hours, I may have all the information I need. Very well. I'll give you 72 hours. Are there any plans? Yes. First, the lieutenant is married. He lives with his wife. My assistant, Yvonne, is moving into the vacant bungalow next to theirs today. She will keep watch of his home, see who comes and goes. I see. Now, that isn't all. I've found the lieutenant has a sister living in the east. Yvonne will be supplied with a forged letter of introduction. I wanted to find out how the lieutenant lives, whether or not he spends more money than he should. I see. It is in your hands, Em. You have 72 hours. After that, I'll have to act. That afternoon, Yvonne moved into her small bungalow home in the suburbs. Oh, this place is lovely. I almost wish I could stay forever. Oh, I wonder who that can be. Em says... Oh, well, I'll soon find out. How do you do? I'm Helene Osborne. I live next door. Oh, this is nice. Come in, won't you? I'm not all settled, but I'm glad to see you. Well, I simply had to come over and find out what you looked like. I'm glad you did. My name is Yvonne Durrell. What did you say yours was? Helene Osborne. Oh, but this place is precious. Did you say Helene Osborne? Yes. Why do you look so surprised? Well, tell me, is your husband Lieutenant Osborne? Is he connected with the military post? Yes. How did you know? This is wonderful. Look, I have a letter to him. It's from his sister. She's an old friend of mine. Not really? Yes. Here it is. I was to look your husband up. And to think you live next door. Well, that settles it. Tonight you will have dinner with us. My husband will be home, and you can give him your letter. Yvonne, I hope we'll be friends. So do I, Helene. later, Yvonne telephoned M. Hello, M. This is Yvonne. I've met her, M. Yes. Well, I haven't formed any opinion. She seems nice. I'm going over there to dinner tonight. Your letter worked. Yes. I'll call you about midnight. During the next two days, Yvonne was with Helene almost constantly. M remained in his hotel and carried on his own investigation. On the third day, M drove out to visit Yvonne. He stopped his car in front of the bungalow and entered. Come in, M. I saw your car stop. What have you found, Yvonne? Have the husbands had any visitors? No, there have been no visitors, M. No one has called? No one. Then we haven't much to report. Get ready, Yvonne. We're due at the commandant's office. But I have a few things to tell you. You can I... tell me on the way down on the car. Yvonne, I don't mind telling you that I'm discouraged. The Commandant gave me 72 hours. They're up and I've discovered nothing. It means that Lieutenant Usman will be arrested. He'll face court-martial. Does that mean the firing squad? I'm afraid so. The evidence against him. Then, Em, you've got to... Who's that? Yvonne! Yvonne! Are you there? It's Elaine. Go out into the kitchen, Em, and close the door behind you. I want to talk to her alone. You're going to tell her? Hurry. She might open the door. Get it over with as soon as possible. We've got to stop. Come in, Elaine. Did, did you take a magazine from the desk when you were over at the house this morning? I might have. Tell me, did you? I've got to know. I, I, I've got to get it back. Sit down, Helene. Tell me, what have you been doing? 
Nothing. Why, why do you ask? Then why has it got to have the magazine I took? Well, I... Well, because... Well, I was reading a story. Uh, give it to me. Helene, listen to me. You can have your magazine back, but not until it has been examined under ultraviolet under light. Under ultraviolet... Oh. You're caught, Helene. Your husband has been bringing home plans to study. You've been copying them in magazines with invisible ink and selling the information. How, how did you find out? I saw the pen on your desk. You had been using it, but there were no ink stains on the point. Helene, do you know that because of what you've done, your husband is under arrest right now? Do you know he's going to face court-martial, disgrace, and perhaps even the firing squad? Paul? Paul will face the firing squad? Oh, no, no, I... Oh, Ivana, I wanted nice things. I wanted to pay for our home. And now Paul may have to pay with his life. Unless you save him. Oh, that's what I'll do. I'll go to the commandant. I, I, I'll tell everything. Do you love your husband enough to save him? I'll do anything. Well, then, sit down at that desk and write what I tell you to write. Sit down. Yes. There's paper there. Now I'll write as I dictate. My husband, Lieutenant Paul Osborne, is innocent. Without his knowledge, I copied his papers and reports across the pages of magazines using invisible ink and sold them to a spy. Sign that Helene Osborne. Don't you want to know the name of the spy? We already know who he is. Give me the paper. Yes. What will they do with me? Nothing. Here, take his car keys. M's car is in front of the house. What do you want me to do? The border is just 20 miles from here. Take M's car and get across it. Now hurry. Oh, Ivan. Don't talk. I'll hold M here until you've had a chance to get away. Then we'll free your husband. Well, tell Paul... I'll tell your husband where you've gone. And unless I'm mistaken in him, in spite of what you've done, he'll come to you. Now start. Some who will say that Yvonne let her heart rule her head. But I don't feel that way, and neither did my friend, Agent M. The spy was arrested, and the young lieutenant freed. A short time later, he resigned his commission and joined his wife in another country. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking. Mm -hmm.